Hi, everybody. This is A Wee Bit of Alchemy, and I'm Rick Barrett. Uh, tonight, we're going to continue to explore the um, bringing the central equilibrium, elbow gin, and uh, sung into the uh, silk reeling exercise. And we'll yeah. kind of expand into that. And But first, we want to... Uh, take a look at the idea of where your knee placement is with reference to your back foot, because it's, it's a little bit different than with the front foot. So let's, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I'm, uh, my weight is my, uh, in my front foot, my, my right leg, notice that my knee is almost vertical. That is, it's, I'm feeling my, the weight going down over the ball of the foot. So the knee is just forward of, uh, of ver vertical. So I'm feeling that the pressure down over the ball of the foot, which allows me to remain rooted. If I come back from that, my weight shifts in my ankle or into my heel, and then I, I become uprooted. Or if I go too far forward, this is where you hear a lot of people um, advise you not to let the knee go past the, the toes. And in the front foot, that is a good idea because anytime you can try this yourself, you just anytime you push the knee too far forward, you're gonna feel knee strain. You back it up just a little bit so it's right over the ball of the foot and the knee disappears because it's doing its job without, without any strain at all, okay? The language changes. We, uh, with, the, with regard to the back foot. If we use that same idea, that is bring the knee so it's vertical over, over the ball of the foot, I have to rock back like this and I'm gonna get uproot myself if I do that. So to get my knee over the, the, over the ball, this is okay if I'm, I'm, if I'm in a, uh, uh, a single weighted, like a cat stance, I'm single weighted in my, my back leg, that's fine. I will do that, but if I'm maintaining a 70-30, like a bow stance, I don't want that. I'm going to have my knee going to be slightly forward of my, of my foot in order to be able to have the, the, the vector going down through the ball of the foot. If I bring it back at all, it's going to shift back into the heel and I'm, I'm toast. So if I'm going for my front foot, Right now, I'm 70% in my, in my right leg. I want to go into my back leg now. I want to make my back leg substantial. So I feel the ball of my back foot. I set my back knee. And notice that my knee hasn't changed. I have my change. I'm in the same, my knee is in the same position. But what I'm going to do now is I will either spiral down to the right and turn to the left, or I will spiral down to the left and turn to the right. Either way, I'm, my body is not moving laterally like this. My body just, I'm going like this, I'm spiraling down and turning and my body is vertical. So I've got that, that central equilibrium going and I'm coming straight down, I'm feeling the pressure down into the ball of the foot. So if you're not standing up already, give this a try. So just go into the, the front foot and feel into that. And you wanna establish your your substantiality in the front leg. So you feel the ball of the front of the right foot, the front foot, you set the knee and spiral down to the right and then turn back to center. So you just, you're getting sun qua. Now you're able to release down into the, the, the right leg and it's got about 70% of your weight. You can make it a little more, you can make it 80%, you can make it 90%, whatever you like. But you know, the tradition is, is it's about 70-30 for a bow stance. So now I want to go and make my rear leg substantial. I feel the ball of my foot. I set my knee. All I've done is just changed my emphasis from my front knee to my back knee. And then I spiral down to the left, say. I can go left or right, but I say I spiral down to the left. I haven't changed my front to back position of my body. I turn to the right, same idea. Now my weight is in my 
my back leg, my back leg is substantial. It's got 70% of my weight. My front leg's got 30%. And here I am, I'm rooted, connected. There's, there's zero break between the front to the back. So if you're playing push hands and you, you do this and you wanna, boom, you wanna go like that. Or if you're doing a, like say a roll back, you're going like this and you're, ah, you're, you're turning, you have that rooted connected power and you're able to, to discharge energy from this position. Whereas if I rock back at all, like this and roll back like this, I got nothing. There's, a, 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 it just, I'm just floating. Okay, questions on this, anybody? This is a radical restatement of, of traditional wisdom here. So I'm, uh, uh, if you don't get it immediately, don't worry about it because it, it took me years to figure this one out. Scott. Um, so my, the more the issue I'm having is to get to a hunt, to get from there now with your knee forward, how do you get to 100% in the back leg? Okay, that's a good question. So let's say I'm in my, my front leg and I want to go 100% of my back leg. So I've got 70% of my front, 30% of my, uh, in my back. So I'm going to feel the ball of my left foot, set my left knee, spiral down to the left, for instance, and then turn to the right. Let's say I'm doing a, a white crane. So here I am. And I wouldn't say I'm 100, I'd say I'm about 95. I just have my, my big toe is just keeping my place there. I can, I can shift to 100 if I want to, but, but this is where I'm going to be today. This is right. Okay. Ah, I've got, or if I, if I want to spiral down to the left and turn to the right and boom, same idea. Here I am. So now I've got 100% or 95% in my left leg. What I've been doing wrong. What's that? Oh, I'm, I got it that time, so I don't. I'm not sure where. I got it now, so I don't, I'm not sure what I was doing wrong before. But thank you. You're welcome. Good. Everybody else, uh, cool on that? Any questions, thoughts? Uh, uh, any difficulties with that? All right. Good. So, um, so again, it's 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 kind of a radical shift from uh, uh, the way that we're. We're uh, taught to do this a lot, and um, that's why you know this series over the last month or so has been the myth of shifting weight. So we don't want to shift our weight. If you think shifting weight, you're gonna you're just gonna rock back and forth. You're shifting. What you're doing is you're changing which leg is substantial. You're changing your mind about which leg you're using as your base as your foundation and you build up from there. Okay, so moving forward, uh, last week we went back to silk reeling exercise and I showed you how to, uh, how to do it in a way that integrated the um, central equilibrium, sung and, and your elbow gin with the uh, with the exercise and this works for everything i'm doing this with, with the with the silk reeling because it's a it's a, a compact exercise and it's something that that is fairly non-denominational so uh, uh people here do a variety of taiji set so uh, rather than focusing on a particular interpretation of say ward off with the left arm we're doing silk reeling you can then take it and apply it to everything and the uh, the key to it is is in really integrating that elbow gin there because that is what makes it into more than just a pretty little dance it makes it into an effective martial arts tool. And when you do that, whether you use it as a martial arts, uh, as, as a self-defense 
technique or not, it doesn't matter. Whenever you access that martial arts energy, that martial energy, you are then creating the conditions for a, um, for a heightened state of body, mind, spirit integration, which then translates to your health, it translates into healing, it translates into expanded awareness. So we use the martial arts part because that is a way of testing it and saying like, oh, do I have it or don't I? So uh, you wanna give me a hand with this, Maria? Mm -hmm. So. One sec. Okay. My hand fell asleep. <laughs> okay, so the uh, silk reeling exercise it looks like this, right? So we're going like, like this. So we have this big circle. And as we come down, we turn, we, we come down the circle and then we make this figure eight in the center and then we start again. So it's, it's, a, it's a really nice, elegant move anyway, but we want to get it. So if you want to go with your right uh, foot forward, good. So the, so you're going to do the, uh, do the, do the exercise. Good. So you're going, yeah. And so, the idea here is, is that if Maria uses this as a, uh, uh, if she uses and, and uses with the elbow gin, something really dramatic happens. So she's coming up doing this. So she's coming up the outside of the circle and here she's moving from her shoulder and nothing's happening, right? She can't, she's not, I'm not, she's not doing anything. But she reaches with her elbow, points with her index finger, and allows the energy to move into me. And then she comes up. It's night and day. So what she's doing is she's coming up like this. And the energy is coming, not just only coming up the outside of the circle, but it's going forward into me. So she's, I grab her like this, nice and tight. She reaches the elbow and says, I don't care. And she immediately throws me for a loop. The same thing, she continues it with that, that movement. So up here, good, she's up here. And same idea here, if she wants, if she tries to do that from the shoulder, nothing happening. She reaches with the elbow and it's, uh, she's able to connect to the energy, not just of her own body, but through, through her body and into the earth. The, the elbow allows that smooth transfer and which then has a lifting and spiraling quality, which is then able to, to send me. She's bringing me up in the, on, the, uh, on the, the bottom side, the going up the, on the H, the, what we've done is we compress the, uh, the spiral. She comes down here and she's just gonna do a nice little tight little movement like that. And immediately there's a, she's able to execute a, a chin na that just happened just by just a little little turn of the of the wrist, and she's able to flip me around. Okay, so that's the uh, that's that's what's going on there, right? There is immense power in this 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 elegant little move, right? If I'm coming up like this, da, 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 this is so the elbow engages here, right? And oh, I'm coming down, da, da, da. And oh, that little turn there. A little turn can, it's like, oh, you're just tossing a, uh, tossing a Frisbee. Boom, like that. And you're coming up and you're making this figure eight. And oh, and then we're going to round the circle again. Right, da, da, da. So breaking it down like this is a way of, making real some of these principles that I've been, I've been talking about for a few weeks now. Getting it so, you wanna say something? I did, I wanted to say that um, it's like you talk about uh, coherence and coherence is what makes it work uh, because it's like, you know, a coherent light is a laser. So with this also, when you engage your elbow and then you reach with the fingers, you are making your energy and your coherent, you've got coherent energy going out through that structure, which is what gives you the power so you don't need the muscular power. Exactly, exactly. So the idea that you're, you're, 
by getting coherent and getting out of your own way by getting sung and unkinking the hose, particularly with that elbow, you're allowing the chi to move through you. But with the central equilibrium, we've added another factor. You're not just playing with your own energy. You are plugging into the big chi. You're plugging into the chi of heaven and earth. And so you do not have to work so hard. And the, the big problem people have with, with applications of this is the body mind says, this is not gonna work. I have to add some muscle to this. And then it tightens up and then it blocks the chi and it says, oh, it didn't work. I know it didn't work. But if you, there's a leap of faith that you have to go to actually trust the energy. And that we'll get into that in a little bit about how you, how you execute that, how you get to that leap of faith. But let's, uh, I'll do it facing you this time. So here we go. So begin with your weight on the, uh, uh, the ball of the right foot. The right leg is substantial. You got about 30% of your weight there. And as you, you're gonna feel the ball of your right foot, set your right knee, spiral down to the left. And you're coming up the outside of that, of that circle. You get up to about here and you're gonna turn, but you don't just turn like this. You're gonna continue, the hand's gonna continue up the circle but you're reaching with your elbow and you're reaching forward with the hand, even though the, even though you, the hand is not changing, it's, it's not going forward like this, the energy is going out. So it's not just going around and around like this, it's, it's going it's going out, 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 out. And so the energy is going forward as it's coming up. You're coming up as if you have the back of your hand, actually the, the front on your hand on the inside of the circle, figure it that way, right? You come up to, you come up to about, about nine o'clock and you then turn to the right as the hand comes up to 12 o'clock and then you rotate your forearm. So notice that my elbow is set and I rotate my forearm. Okay, so in this position, this looks a lot like a uh, like a, a white crane kind of posture, but here you are, and this is the similar kind of energy there. Your that energy is expansive. Okay, but now we're going to go to the yin phase, and we feel the ball of the left foot. We set the left knee and spiral down to the right as the hand comes down to about three o'clock. And then turn to the left. And as we turn to the left, hand comes down. So I've reached the, the most yin part of this. My weight is entirely in my back leg. My hand is down here at the bottom of the circle. So we're going to start to do the yang phase again. But this time we're going to go up inside the circle. And we're going to make that figure eight. So I come up, I, I feel the ball of my right foot. I set my right knee. Okay, so I just kind of float that knee forward without shifting any weight. And I start to spiral down to the left. And as I do so, I set my elbow, rotate the forearm and come with the palm up. So we saw the, uh, the power that Maria had whenever she did that, the simple little plop, like that, okay, get the palm up. And we continue with this yang phase, turning to the right as the hand now comes up and caresses the outside of the top side of the, the figure eight. And we get to the top here. This is the most yang part now. And now we're gonna feel the ball, set the knee, we're gonna to start to come down again and go to the yin. So here we go, we set the elbow and then rotate the forearm as we turn to the right. Hand comes down. So you're pressing outward here. And then turn to the left as the hand comes down to the bottom. So we're back to the yin. Back leg, but hand at the bottom. 
And then we begin our cycle again. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, hand comes up to nine o'clock. And then turn to the right, hand goes up to 12 o'clock. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Rotate your, your forearm, palm is out now. Turn to the left as you come down. We're doing, now we do the figure eight. So feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee. We're gonna come up the hill. We're gonna, it's gonna be young. So we go uh, right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, palm up, rotate your forearm. So this is just that simple, but you set the elbow and rotate your forearm. And then you turn and the hand comes up, palm down. And now you feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and the hand rotate the forearm. You're setting the elbow, rotate the forearm, the hand comes down, and then turn to the left. Good, let's, uh, let's do a check here and, and see if people have questions on this. Okay, how are we doing? Good, 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 good. Anybody have any questions? Good. This pace is good. This is uh, the right pace. Are people getting bored with this yet? No, no, this is this is the right pace. <laughs> good. Because we want to uh, I want you to I want you to feel it. I don't want this just be an exercise you memorize. I want you to feel the gin because the gin is what we're all about here. The gin is the doorway into the superconscious. It's the doorway into higher ability. Richard. Uh, I was just gonna say that <clears throat> for those of us who've done Chan Su Jin exercises, you know, I've done this same thing many times. And what I'm, under, what I'm striving for now is when you do these exercises, there's a real natural back and forth, moving forward, moving backward, moving forward, moving backward with the movement. And I'm trying to minimize that and keep myself in the center more and understand the shift of uh, focus instead of the shift of my weight back and forth. So I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone else. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that the sway of my body is minimized. Great. I think that's that's excellent because uh, we want the uh, the substantiality to be clearly defined. Which which leg is substantial? When you're when you're yin, you're going back into the into the back leg. When you're going when you're yang, you're going into the front leg. You know, and that's uh, and the the, um, the turn of the body uh, follows the hand in, in this in this posture. That is, if I'm my hand is coming up and I'm I'm going I'm turning to the left. My hand is my hand is to the left. I want to go to the right. Oh, my body turns to the right. So it follows a basic Tai Chi principle there. I do other martial arts where it's exact opposite, and that's okay because that's an entirely different system. But for Tai Chi, it's it's you you're generally moving in the same direction that. Uh, your hand is moving in the same direction as your torso. So that makes it makes it easy to remember. So you can can always kind of follow that in whatever you're doing. Okay. Uh, any other thoughts, questions? Well, shall we? Uh, you're good. You Rick, Rick, you have a question? You're on, you're on mute. I know. I'm, I have to find where the thing is. It's my experience has been if I follow the energy the body takes care of itself. I just, I'm just doing it. And then I, then you say, make sure it's in the left leg. And I check and the left leg goes, I got it. Beautiful. It just, so it just automatically the, shifts. Good. That's following the feeling. So you want, you follow want to the feel. energy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, good. So let's, uh, uh, let's continue. Right um, <laughs> so we did the, uh, the right hand last week. Let's do the left hand. This week is that uh, is that okay for everybody? So every, everybody got a yeah they're okay they're okay good so we're gonna do the left hand now 
but Lynn wants to know what about the tonic that goes with the gin. What about the tonic? <laughs> I'll meet you at the bar afterward. <laughs> okay, so this is your left leg is forward now. And uh, is it okay if I do it facing you? I can, I can give you a side view if you like, but the, uh, uh, this way I can talk directly to you. Uh, everybody, everybody okay with that? Cool. So, uh, and don't take too long a stance. In other words, you know, just have your, your toes just slightly behind the heel of your front foot, the toes of your rear foot. That way we're going to minimize the, the, the athleticism necessary to accomplish this. So you can then make it much bigger if you want, as you, as you master the, uh, the mechanics of it. But first of all, let's just get it. So here we go with the left foot. Uh, the, on the left side, we're going to use the left arm. So feel the ball of your left leg, your left foot. You set the left knee and you spiral down to the right as your arm comes up. You're, even though the arm is coming up like this and you may think, oh, I'm just lifting my shoulder. Don't. You're still setting your elbow and the hand comes up. And this is, we've talked about this before, but this is really, really crucial. And it's, it's something that not everybody gets. I'd say it's, it's one of the hidden treasures. And that is you're, you're setting that elbow, you're getting your elbow chin, your Joe, and, and it's one of the eight gates. So here you go, you set that and you spiral down to the right as your hand comes up to three o'clock. And then you turn to the left as you get, you turn to the left as your hand comes up to 12 o'clock. Okay, your weight is, now this is the most young part. So feel that expansiveness. The, the, not only is the arm coming up circle, but it's reaching out. So there's, there's, a, there's a quality of reaching out as well. And it's coming from the, from the elbow. So now we're going to go down and we're going to go to the inside. So you feel the ball of the right foot. You set the right knee. You rotate the forearm and spiral down to the left. So your hand is coming down the circle and you come down to nine o'clock and then you turn to the right and you come down to six o'clock. And here you are. So you're at the most yin part, but that doesn't mean you're collapsed at all. In this posture, you are still loaded up, but it's, you're feeling the yin chi in this posture. So you're loaded with, with the yin aspect, the yin energy. And, oh, we're gonna go up now. We're gonna start, but we're gonna come up inside. We're gonna do the figure eight. We, so feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Left hand comes up, makes the bottom half of the eight, and then turns to the left, and the hand comes up to 12 o'clock. So now we're back to young. And now we feel the, the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, hand comes down to the, to the, uh, the intersection here at the, at, the, at the eight, and then we turn to the left, and hand comes down to the bottom. And now we're going back up again on the circle. Feel the left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, hand comes up, and then turn to the left. Yang, now going to Yin. Spiral down to the left, rotate the forearm, palm out, come down to, to nine o'clock, and then uh, forget what we're doing the outside of the circle. I, and then there we go. I forget where we are. So here we are. We're back to the bottom again. So the uh, now we're going to go to the the figure eight again. So going up. So left ball set the left knee spiral right and comes up. Left ball and turn and hand comes up. Right ball set the right knee spiral left hand comes down. Turn right. Boom. 
again. Back to the circle. Left ball set the left knee up to nine o'clock or three o'clock. Turn. Let right ball set the right knee down to nine o'clock. Turn. Right balls or left ball set the left knee. Spiral right. Hand comes up. Turn left. Right ball set the right knee. Spiral left. Hand comes down. Turn. Yeah, so let's, let's do it a little quicker. So we're coming up, spiral to the right, turn to the left, back leg, spiral to the left, turn to the right, spiral to the left, front leg, spiral to the left, turn to the right, figure eight, right leg, spiral to the right, turn, turn to the left, come down. So do it. Now this time we're just going to do it and just feel it. Okay. Nice and slow. Front leg, young. Back leg, yin. Front leg, young. Back leg, yin. Front leg. Back leg. Front leg. Back leg. Okay. Any questions? Valerie. Can you do that turned around? Yes. My so, back to it. Yeah. And oh, a little slow. But not too slowly. Wait, wait, wait. Not too slowly? Yeah. Just, just do it. Don't, don't, don't do it too slowly. Correct. Okay, I can do it that way. Okay. Sorry about that. That was a, a scam coming in on my phone. All right. So we'll do it with the left arm. Back to you. Here we go. So front leg. Back leg. Front leg, back leg, 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 right foot. Front leg, back leg, front leg, back leg, front leg, back leg, front leg, back leg. Left foot. So you'll notice that the, the hips, the body are doing this little dance too. They're going da, 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 spiral, 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 boom, boom, boom. So your hips are, are on, a, on a swivel as you're doing it.
So this 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 action is happening. So it's not just going. Arms are going, but the the body is going forward, backward, but it's also going spiraling within. So there's this kind of figure eight vortex going in in the uh, in the center there. Cool. Questions. Requests. That was so helpful doing it from seeing you do it from the back. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I'll remember that. Maybe. <laughs> but feel free to remind me whenever I uh, get carried away. Um, more of this or uh, uh, moving on? Rick says move on. Valerie says move on. Yes. Okay, so good. All right, so um, this uh, idea of chancogen is present in pretty much every Tai Chi form. It just is more hidden in some than others. In uh, Chen style, it's it's front and center. You it's very obvious, very very exposed. You get this kind of uh, Get this kind of kind of action here, where you're going. Right. Whereas in Young style, you you get it, but it's 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 kind of sneaks up on you, like in a like in a single whip. You know, there's this kind of thing happening there. With boom, uh, there, there's there's a, a a hidden spiraling going on there. And you see in other things as well, but it uh, it's there. It just doesn't uh, uh, doesn't announce itself quite as much. Um, doing this now, it uh, you can do it smaller. So I, I've been doing it nice and big, which is great because it opens you up and everything like that. But if you're, if you want, you can make it very tiny. Which is kind of the energy that Maria was demonstrating earlier, but if she's coming up like this, it's like, oh, if you want to use it, being able to just to do a little flick of the wrist like that, it creates a very dramatic effect with very little energy and almost almost invisible. You just kind of like that and like, what happened? So um, try it that way. Just try it right foot forward. And we're just gonna make a wee circle. And with also, you're using everything with the big circle, you're just bringing it way, way down. So you're going. So you're coming up. And back leg, come down. Up and down. So here you're just being able to execute just this part here. Huh. Just to, just do the little figure eight part. So you're you're here. Hmm. And then in a circle. Hmm. But you want to feel it coming, connecting up through your feet when you do that. When you're coming up like this, maybe you give me a hand here, Maria. Just uh, so just doing it, doing we circles. So you're boom. So we have this 
same idea here. If she if she uses her force on me, nothing's happening. But if she sets her elbow and just it makes that little tiny circle, <laughs> she has a really nice, elegant chin na move there that, that, that happens. If uh, she's doing it to me, she, she grabs my wrist here, and I just go like that. And it, <laughs> it doesn't take much to, to, to subdue it. You're just going doop, like this and like that, and you have, a, you have an elegant little submission. And uh, if uh, she you do the, uh, the, the the wee circle there, even smaller, even smaller, just really just a just a little a little turn there, just, yeah. So there you go. So just that, that just that little turn. If she does it, <laughs> it you get a uh, a really powerful, elegant little little movement. But you only get it if you connect up the dots. If I do it and I push in here a little bit and I've broken her, her continuity, she has to reset. How's she gonna reset? She reaches out with her elbow and oh, she's reset. And bingo, we have a, we have a new uh, execution. So the way to practice this, thank you. Way to practice this is you wanna get it so that you can feel in your body where you're kinking the hose on this movement. And I, th I thought, of, uh, how, would, how can you do it if you're just doing it by yourself? It helps if you've got a partner there and you can just grab each other's wrists and, and, and give some force there. And then you can feel if, if you're having to use muscle to, to make it happen, if you're using your shoulder. But if you don't have a partner handy, you grab a, a, a wee bum, a barbell like uh, or a dumbbell like this, a, a little three pounder. And, uh, and you can do your, your, your movement that way. So you're coming up, boom, like this, and oh, and you feel, if you're doing it incorrectly, you're gonna feel, oh, tension in your shoulder, whatever. You reach with that elbow and reach out with your fingers. Oh, good, now you feel the, the left foot, left ball, left knee, and then you're coming down and you rotate. And just practice that, just practice rotating with a little bit of weight, not a lot, but just a little bit, just so you can feel what that feels like to have some resistance there that you have to overcome, not with force, not with muscular power, but with your chin. So you point your index finger to get your energetic coherence. You reach with your elbow. You feel the ball of your foot. You reach with your knee one, your, your um, crown of your head, you know, and so then when you turn, ah, oh, you're reaching down and you're feeling that. You're feeling that connection. You want to come forward, you feel the ball of the right foot, you set the right knee, spiral down to the left. Boom. What am I doing? I'm just rotating my forearm. My elbow's not moving. I just, ah, oh, rotating the forearm, palm up. Good. Turn to the right. I'm in my front leg since it's a yang move. Now I'm going to my yin move. I'm going to go into my my back leg, spiral down to the right. Hand comes comes down. I'm reaching out. It looks like oh this this hose should be kinked, but it's not. Why? Because I'm reaching with my elbow. If I'm reaching with my elbow, I can I can hold this posture with considerable power. And then I turn, boom. And then I'm coming up again, spiral down to the, the left, hand comes up, turn to the right, spiral down to the right, back leg, turn to the left. So each step of the way I get, I have this feedback coming from, from this little guy here that's telling me that, oh, dude, you're, uh, you're straining with your, with your shoulder. Cut that out. How do I cut that out? I, boop, I reach with my elbow. If I reach with my elbow, point my index fingers, I have elbow gin, I also have energetic coherence. So then I'm able to 
I'm able to execute all kinds of cool moves and get the feedback from my body that, yeah, it's okay. You're using gin, not, uh, not leave, not uh, muscular, muscular force to make that happen. Questions on that? Thoughts? Gallery. Yeah, I'm going there. Good. Okay, Sandy. I think it's great stuff. I mean, that's, that's something I want to keep practicing over and over again. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. It's applicable to everything. You know, we I broke it down into this particular move because it's a uh, it's a self-contained kind of little universe. You don't need to to learn hundreds of moves to uh, to execute. It's something that you can you can just do that. You know, and there are lots of ways to do silk reeling stuff, and that's that's just one. But it's a, uh, uh, I think it's a very effective one, and uh, and uh, you know, if we ever get bored, we can do uh, we can do other ones too. But that's a uh, uh, that's a good place to start. Just do it right side, left side, and do it with a little bit of little bit of resistance there, either from a partner, or. Uh, or with uh, with the weight. So let me. Uh, you want, want to give me a hand with uh, doing it with a partner? Yes, sir. So I'll just do. Uh, yeah. So I would do a uh, speaker view. You're making me work today. I'm making you work. Give her a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. We'll give you a raise. Here, so I'm not the dummy all the time. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to do my, my now, and you're just going to give me a, some resistance there. So as I'm coming up, not a, not a lot, just, just, uh, just, uh, just a little bit. So as I'm coming up, so I, I can feel, ah, where, where, where does I, where did I keep going? Don't you push down a little harder and push down with it. And, and I want to be able to execute that and feel, oh, okay. I don't need a lot of force to make that happen. Why well, I have my elbow chin, my fingers pointed, I'm feeling that. So as I'm coming up here, like that, good. So now I'm going to turn and hold that position as I turn. And even though this is, looks to be an awkward position, so you give me some force there, it doesn't matter because I've got, I've got that connection. If, however, I don't have that connection, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to do it with my shoulder, nothing's going to work. But I get that connection. Oh, okay. Good. And I'm coming. Oh, I can come down here like this. Good. Oh, make the figure eight. Boom. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so give me some resistance here. Boom. I just, oh, so it just, it, 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 oh, how much, how much force? Oh, nothing at all. You guessed that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great. So that's, if you have a partner, that's, that's a, an easy way. You just test that each, each piece of the way and use your interoception. You're, you're looking into and you're feeling inside your body and you're saying, oh, what's, uh, where, am I, where am I kicking the hose? And then you can, you can then clear that out. And then that will, once, your, once you get the feeling of that, your body will then translate it into other movements so that you will start to break old habits whenever you do that. Yeah. So your elbow, your elbow is leading, your elbow is leading your shoulder. Yes, that's a, that's a good way of putting it. Your okay. elbow leads your shoulder. So, okay. and which is the opposite of the way we've been doing it forever. Right, right. right Everything right. we initiate with the shoulder by tensing the shoulder, which is a big problem for so many things, not just shoulder pain, but things like carpal tunnel and things like that. We get, right, you know, we get right. there's all kinds of problems that we get because we're tensing up here, which causes everything to tense up, which blocks the chi. So we want to get, ah, oh, and it gets more elegant whenever you do that. Your elbows and your wrists and your fingers, and you, you get these really nice kind of seaweed floating in the, you know, da, da, in the lagoon kind of feeling with your, with your arms, which belies the incredible power that you're able to generate 
with those super relaxed arms. If you just think, oh, I'm just going to relax and then I'll power, no, it doesn't, it's not there. You can't get it without establishing the foundation, without establishing the, the body mechanics necessary to allow the energy to flow where you want it to flow. And so we do that by training the body to get out of its own way, to stop doing the things that are actually causing it to, to kink the hose, to block our chi. Great, great, okay. yes, yes. Questions, thoughts? Oh, I just wanted to say, if you are partnering up and helping somebody else to work on this, you wanna give them just enough pressure so that they can tell whether or not they're doing it right or not. Right. Right. So that, that's a, that's the key to coaching anytime. Just you you want to get, get the exact amount of feedback necessary that they will get the joke, but are not overwhelmed by the force. Because if you overwhelm someone with the force, then they will go back into their reptile brain, and they're you know you lose it. Unless that's the lesson you want to learn that, hey, it's really easy to go into your reptile brain, which is sometimes a good lesson to, remi to remind yourself of. But uh, uh, you want to let that go. And we do it by, hmm, by helping each other. And you say, okay, oh, what's, what's, what's the exact amount of force necessary? Oh, that too, that's too much, you know. Oh, okay. Huh. Reach for the elbow. Oh, okay, I got it. You know? And I guess you can do it yourself too. I, I did it with myself. I would use a wall or something and I'd push up and I just notice where, where is the hose kinked, you know, and I would do it that way. And uh, that certainly is a, a valid way of going about it as well. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I wanted to say, um, this seems really complicated if you're trying to think it through in your head. So you want to really go for the feeling of it, you know, because if you're thinking, uh, foot, uh, knee, qua, arm, shoulder, elbow, no, you, you're trying to think of too many things at once just in your head, you go nuts. So don't do that. Feel it. Feel every piece of it. And, you know, if you have to, you know, if you notice, oh, yeah, oh, my, my, my shoulder's tense, then you feel into your elbow. But, you know, don't try to do it with your mind with your, you know, with a, with a, with a, with an image of a construct of what you think it should be really feel into it. Yes. Thank you. One more thing. A, uh, I find it helpful to just practice that pattern with whatever, say my finger. Da, 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 da. Right. Just get that. Or my foot, I'll get it so that, you know, you know, da, 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 you know, and you get that, you get that pattern so that it becomes really familiar with all parts of your body, you know, with your elbow, da, 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 da. you know, you, you do that and you are imprinting it on different parts of your nervous system. And you know, the neurons that fire together, wire together. And if you get it so that the whole, your whole brain is, has that pattern, then it's something that, oh, it becomes very easy to do. You get, you know, and you can do it just, you know, kind of, ta -ta -ta. You, nobody has to notice. You're just kind of, do, 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 do. you the uh, uh, playing around with it. So it's a, uh, uh, I, I found that, that helpful too, just to, to work with it. Valerie. That little tune, we should be doing the little tune while we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like circle eight. <laughs> Great. Well, I love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Rick. Yes. Thank you, Rick. Do, 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 do. <laughs>